Virginia farmers looking for alternative crops for their existing farmland are getting hooked on aquaculture. Thanks to advice from experts at Virginia Tech and Virginia State University, business is thriving. Aquaculture is one of the fastest growing uh, areas of agriculture uh, in, in Virginia. Uh, and the reason it is because we do have a consumer that wants a high quality product. And there's nothing better than a locally produced, uh, easily harvestable, ready for the consumer product. Dr. Brian Neri holds a doctorate in aquaculture and aquacultural production economics and has been advising Virginia fish farmers for more than a decade. Fish farm products include hybrid striped bass, catfish, rainbow trout, and freshwater prawns. Many of them are sold to restaurants and to the public at farmers markets across the state. Dolce Vita farm owner Kerry Giannotti sells his farm-raised rainbow trout at the Petersburg Farmers Market and says he's hooked. I had been going to Virginia State University, the farm over there, the, uh, to the aquaculture meetings, and had had interest in it since I bought my farm in 77. I've always wanted to put catfish in. And uh, I came across the, uh, they, they started introducing the trout to us. And uh, I hadn't done any, any fish, but I decided to try the trout. And it uh, took off. Utilizing existing parts of a farm makes the transition to aquaculture easier. Many former tobacco farmers have switched their irrigation ponds to fish ponds, for instance. John Hoffmeyer, president of the Virginia Aquaculture Association, used to be a traditional farmer in Charles City County. My particular operation, we have lakes on our farm, and, and it was all previously cropland, and uh, we grew grain and it had 100 head of beef cattle on it, and over time, the gravel operation has gotten bigger and the fields are getting smaller. And I decided in 2001 to do aquaculture and I stocked hybrid striped bass through a small growers gr uh, grant through Virginia State University. Right now I have about 16,000 stripers in a six acre lake. In the winter time I raise rainbow trout in cages uh, from November through uh, spring. One of the first aquaculture species raised in Virginia was catfish. Dr. Lynn Blackwood, president of the Virginia Aqua Farmers Network, focused on raising them in his Lunenburg County farm. In the past, I've been mostly focused on growing catfish out from fingerling size to either stocker size or fillables. And now I'm moving to a hatchery system where I can hatch my own eggs and create my own fry and my own fingerlings for stocking in my ponds and also the network's ponds throughout South South Virginia. What you see here is the development of a broodstock pond where I will take large males and large females and put in nesting boxes and I will allow them to nest and, and create the eggs. I will take the eggs to my hatchery and then I will hatch the eggs to fry. And then as they become swim up fry, I'll be able to transplant them into this grow out pond. And it'll take me a full warm season before they will become fingerlings. Then they'll be ready for stocking. You can purchase Virginia Aqua Farmers Network products sold under the brand name Virginia Natural Fish Company from their website at aquafarmers.com. They'll ship them directly to your home. Reporting in Lunenburg County, I'm Norm Hyde.